what do you see as the key challenges that Europe will have to address to ensure that the data generated by smart cards is adequately protected and stored and shared in a safe way? Well, access to vehicle data by any party must be safe, secure and protect the privacy of the driver. I can foresee the need for data sharing, especially for new services, but also for the interaction of the smart car with the smart grid, the smart home or the smart city. And so how do we strike that balance? Is it difficult to strike the balance between privacy and the need to share the data? Well, the data, these systems that I described, they are very complex and due to the uh, complex nature of these systems, it's very important that um, this interaction between these systems and data sharing occurs in a well-defined manner yeah, with clear responsibilities assigned as well as based on managed interfaces and of course customers' consent to data sharing. What about third-party access to this data? How, how do we reassure customers that everything is safe and secure? So third parties uh, should have access to the vehicle data only through a secure off-board facility which is being operated by the vehicle manufacturer. That way the vehicle manufacturer is in, the, in a position where he can control the entire extended vehicle consisting of the on-board systems as well as the off-board systems and the communication between them. There's a clear interface. There is a standard for it, that's the ISO 20078, which is a standard for web service access by third parties to vehicle data. And using this approach will ensure the safety, security and integrity. So this gets over people's fear that their car is going to be hacked or something? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I said it's very important to have the responsibilities clearly assigned. If you have direct access, then the third party directly accessing the vehicle systems has to ensure for every vehicle type out on the road that it, he does not jeopardize safety, security or integrity of the vehicle. And we have done some studies with existing OBD access devices, for example, and these do not meet this fundamental requirement and can even be dangerous to use in some cases.